Hey you guys, how are you? I feel like I have not spoken to you in forever, but here I am, right back here in my kitchen in Nashville. This, uh, this is where all the cooking magic does not happen. <laughs> not from me. Um, I know I'm trying. It's one of my New Year's goals is to like maybe cook better or more and like tasty things. We'll see how that goes. I will keep you posted. How are you? It's been a while, right? Um, exciting stuff going on. And it's been a while because I was in studio with the girls on the last few shows. And that was so awesome. I loved it. We were in Canada. So I got to sit in and just be around the table and chat and do some shows with them that way. And But now I'm back. Look at guys. Always I have hair issues. Every single time, right? <laughs> but here we are. We're back. Happy New Year. Um, just kind of getting back into the groove of life and a new year and it's exciting and I just think it's going to be a good year and we're all going to do it together, you know? So hopefully I'll be back in studio uh, with the girls. We may uh, just be doing that. So uh, stay tuned for that. I love it. So how are you? I would love to hear how you're doing and how your Christmas was and maybe what some of your plans for the new year is, you know? Um, and some of your thoughts, man, I miss you gals. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so this week on See Her Love, it's all about some of our favorite past shows, right? And Melinda's like, hey, can you pick a, you know, your favorite show? I'm like, well, that's hard to do. That's like asking, like, which one is your favorite child? And you know, my favorite child is, no, <laughs> I love them all, right? Like, how do you pick that? I don't know. So I was going through some old shows that we've done and man, just like totally re-inspired all over again, you know, going, oh, that one was good. And then, oh, that one is good. Oh, that one is good. They're all so good. And uh, we've just had some amazing guests and some amazing truth and hope and life spoken through, <laughs> spoken through this web. You know, how amazing that we even get to do that and encourage one another. I love it so much. So, as I was going through, I came across um, an, an episode from last April, and you know what? This is mine uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is because I know these people that were our guests that day, and they are the realest deal that you are ever going to find. And they are truly inspiring and beautiful. And I just love the way they shared their hearts. So I chose uh, episode 18 from way back last April. And it's a program uh, we, can, we called Reframing Your Life and Dreams. And it's with our friends, Randy and Nadine Mitchell. And they are so wonderful. Their whole family is so wonderful. And we had them on because April was Autism Month and actually their son Caleb has autism. And they so honestly shared their life and their hearts with us and the, the struggle through it and the good through it and just how God has been faithful on the journey of Caleb's life, you know? And so I was watching it again and totally with tears, uh, and if you can get through it without crying, it's going to not be easy, um, but just, I just love how they just took the season of what they did not expect to have and just embraced it and have made it a beautiful thing. You may not have an autistic child, I don't. But we probably have all been touched by it somehow, right? We probably all have friends or someone that, you know, um, experiences that kind of life. Um, or maybe not. But what I love, too, about this program, and you're all going to watch it again, because it's going to just so inspire you and, and help us all just remember <laughs> how we should think. And it's just that... You know what? Yeah, sometimes life isn't how we think it's going to turn out, you know? I used to write out my list for God going, you know, I would like my life to go this, 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 and this way. <laughs> and I'm sure he was like, oh, but honey, but I'm going to have it go this, 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 and this way. And you might not always like it, 
and it might be a little hard sometimes, but I promise you, I'm in it with you. And I'm gonna breathe my beauty and life and faithfulness and goodness in the path that you did not expect to take. Because mm. probably we all have experienced that somehow. Maybe just something in a circumstance or something, we just, a path we just maybe didn't expect to take. And how, how God just maybe has allowed that to change and so we reframe our life and our dreams. And Randy and Nadine just so beautifully help all of us look at that a whole lot better. It is just, uh, yeah, it has just really moved me to my core again, just the way that they have embraced their journey and the adventure that God has them on in raising their amazing son that God has here with amazing purpose. And so I just think that you all need to watch it again too. And let's just uh, remember that God is so bigger in this picture and in this story of our life and that he's in control and uh, it's a good, good thing. So enjoy my friends, Randy and Nadine Mitchell and my favorite episode, um, See Her Love. Love you guys.